now we should not have as much sun problems right now. Ah, oh, thanks for that. Such a pain when the sun acts like that. Right. I'm gonna see if this works. I'm also trying to... So, for those who don't know, I do have a Discord. And that particular Discord uh, is just called Melicity, the Discord server. There are links on my YouTube channel, basically, if you want to get into it. Um, oh, that's cute. Anyway, I'm being distracted. Where am I supposed to be right now? Oh yeah, all the way over there. How lovely. Uh, but basically... Um, pardon me, my brain is just... I haven't caught up with anything right now. Uh, basically, I'm trying to get a bot to like announce when I go live and it's not doing it and I don't know why and it's annoying. So... Sadness. Oh well, we will see. I'm still kind of miffed over the fact that I, like everything, just turned to level 63. I worked so hard yesterday to get my, get my part up to level 62, only for him to do, like, do two quests and then moot. All gone. Where are we going? We have to go this way, all the way over there, through the cave. Oh, I love these fishes. I wish they had some animation that it's kind of just static, which looks kind of weird. It would have been nice if they gave them like a little bit of a tail swish or something, but no. That, that's not how it's going to work. Oh, well. If you didn't see, I played... Um, what's it called? Alan Wake. Yeah, the remaster on... On Sun Saturday? Yeah, yesterday. I'm thinking about moving horror games to Friday evening. Because I think that would work way better. So we could have like Friday evening horror nights at the end of the work week. Because that would be nice. And also by then then like I can I can get some lights. And we can like don't have to worry as much about the green screen then. And the sun should not be a bother because the sun just leaves very early now. And it's gonna start leaving earlier and earlier as we go. How did I die here last time, by the way? That confuses me. I feel like Stormblood is way harder. Things are killing me way more easily. Like, I went through a Realm Reborn and... And also... Heaven's Word without dying too much. But then I came to Stormblood and I swear I am just dead all the time. And it's really annoying. Where am I going? I need to go there. Like, I can't express how much I would love to be a rogue right now. Just so I can sneak past everything. Because everything is so angry and hostile and good at killing me. I need you to be dead before I gather everything else up. And like, this character is way over leveled. Like, I'm six levels above this content. All right, I'm ready. Oh, let's make you my dance partner. Okay, and now I just need to kill you guys. We are trying to take a artifact that we found under the sea somewhere. Well, we are technically Alice is doing it. We and Ida are supposed to go and distract everybody by killing them mostly. Why? Why more? 
Was it because I ran back into it? Okay, I'm gonna not go out of it this time and just stay, stay very still. All right. Again, we have to go somewhere else on the island. Mm. Oh! Lise, how are you doing? How did it go? Did humans kill people? I kill plenty. You're a sight for sore eyes. I hope Alice is all right too. Melicity, Lise, can you hear me? I found the vault. Head northwest, there's a passage leading deeper within. Hurry. Why hurry? Is everything okay? Alice, you are worrying me now. But yeah, my, my current issue actually with Final uh, not Final Fantasy with Alan Wake is I think I'd soft locked the game. I thought the game was wanting me to use these flares and I didn't quite understand how they work. So I used all of them. And now it's telling me like use the flares, but I don't have any flares and everybody like everything keeps on killing me. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to like replay it. Like, obviously, I would do that off stream, but it's just a little bit annoying. So, you found it, Elsa? There you are. The entrance is straight ahead. Good timing, I might add. It sounds like the whole garrison is heading straight for us. Yeah. Well, we did want them to come. Like, them and, and all the other red coaches, too. From all over the place. Thieves! Thieves! Come to steal our most precious treasures? You will pay for this sacrilege! It's odd also that their face doesn't move. That's the spirit! Now don't be shy. I'm more than ready for another round. Seize them! What's that? Oh, these must be the other artifacts. Because we were supposed to unite the stone with something. Please don't stab me. What in the world? Oh, is that the red mage weapon? Who hath made us whole? I did. Hark! A great Kami stirs. Yes, yes. A great Kami of the sacred treasures. Mm hmm. See? Oh, great We're not bad. Kami. We beseech your intercession. We who have guarded your blade and glass for generations. Your faithful Kojin. Um, it was I who made you whole. Thou didst freely deliver our jewel unto thine enemy's own treasure vault? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> How auspicious we do commend thee, daughter of man. Such audacity is deserving of celebration, exaltation, a contest of wills to mark the occasion. Let lines be drawn, let sides be chosen. And for their loyalty, we shall stand with the caretakers of our greater part. I guess that's fair. Oh, perfect. A contest of wills. Just what we need. You know, it would be really nice to have 
have Alfino right now. <laughs> Hearken to us, shelled ones. Upon this day, your wish shall be granted. Curse neither your fate nor its executor, children of man, for we are of the divine, of both heaven and earth, the ringing silence, the raging calm. All riseth and falleth at the whim of capricious fortune. Assume your marks upon the stage and embrace the coming chaos. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I forgot I need to take off my glasses. <laughs> because they mess with the green screen every time. Oh, hey, Ape. How you doing? We are Susano, and in revelry do we rejoice. Okay. That, that's a primal standing in front of us, right? I think so, yeah. And a horde of angry Kojan at our backs. Oh, this contest is getting worse by the moment. Okay. This Please, is help me clear not the good. Lead them to us and save your strength. You'll be needing it soon enough. Mm -hmm. Make way! Make way! Spoil not your appetite for the feast, children of man. The dish will be served whether you will it or no. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so okay. Yeah, we we might want to leave. Oh, I can't believe we accidentally summoned the primal. <laughs> Where are they? They're down there somewhere. Guys. I'm thinking about moving my stream times to more midday, so around this time. Still about four hour stream, so like it, it just about started. Um, I'm thinking about Sunday stream about midday and I'm gonna move my Saturday stream to Friday and have it in the evening for some Friday horror. I'm currently playing through Alan Wake, which is quite good, though I think I soft locked the game. So it's going to be interesting when we pick that up next. That was that was not part of the plan. A Kojin Primal was most definitely not part of the plan. Though I'm sure there is perfectly logical explanation involving the ether stored in the treasure and the religious fervor in which the Kojin guard them or something. A petty Alfano isn't here to provide it. Uh, Apex, is it better for light coming to winter? Yes. So the issue is, um, I ran across it this morning, is early midday the sun comes up and because my my living room window basically just turns in such a way that the sun shines straight through it. So as I was trying to stream this morning, I got like an hour and a half before the sun was just blinding me and it was just making everything terrible. But now it's 2 p.m. And like the sun is already moved across and it's going to start moving down soon. So I'm just going to have to get, um, I'm, I'm always on my way to get light. So I just need to get myself some good lights and then it should be sorted. But I just haven't found a way to make the sun not mess up everything. So that's a work in progress. And just when I thought our fortunes had changed, I swear if Zorban and his people knew this might happen, no, some hide out that. Even the rats seem surprised by what happened. All rise and falls at the whim of Capricus Fortune, does it? Then the same goes for him. 
We have to defeat that primal. Yeah. So, anything that good looks good? Eh. It looks kind of plain, but I could take it. Oh! We've got some animation here. Can we be wearing clothes, please? Thank you. That looks nice. Oh, wait. Put it down. Oh, I'm taking the sword. That should sell well. <laughs> yeah, winter is schedule incoming. I'm still figuring out when is best to stream, so... We're bound to find, like, have to adjust a few things. But I think next weekend I'm gonna try that. Elsa may not have the best plan, but she has the only one. That's the best plan so far, then. As before, our numbers limited, uh, numbers limit our operations. I wish I could claim to have a brilliant plan, but I don't. All I have is a desperate one. Aren't all our plans desperate ones? Lise, you and I will do our best to draw the coaching away from the primal. We'll lead them on a wild dodo chase all over the isle. The rest of the plan, I'm afraid you can guess. I'm sorry, Malicity, I truly am, but neither of us can even approach Susano, much less hope to defeat him, which means you're on your own. Well, who knows? He does have an awful lot of adventuring friends. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to grab the soul of the bastard. Maybe some of them decide to take a fishing trip to the Far East and are surprisingly close by? Yes, and I speak fluent Hingan. Come on, there's no point putting this off. Uh... Abe, you wouldn't happen to be fishing in the Far East at the moment, would you? Just, you know, hypothetical question. So what level is this dungeon, exactly? It is 93. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, you're on a three? Be sure to read the instance description. Oh, I've never read those before. Your effort to wreak havoc on the Isle of Saki and draw the Red Koji away from the Imperial Mustard have exceeded all expectation. Unfortunately, for reasons beyond your knowing, two of the sacred treasures stored in the Isle Vault reacted to the presence of Yasaki no Mat Magatama, summoning forth the ether to the great Kami Susano, a primal by another name. How fortunate it you had the wisdom and foresight to invite several of your fellow adventurers on this journey to the Far East. And how kind they were to agree to help you torment the Red Co Kojin for no single warrior, no matter how blessed or powerful, could ever hope to slay a primal on her own, despite what some wandering minstrel would have you believe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good one. I need to make sure to read those. I'm really annoyed because... So, Abe, what I did yesterday is I leveled my bard up to level 62 i was so proud and then i did like two dungeons uh, not two dungeons i did two quests two quests and then immediately everything moved to 63 and now i'm under leveled again and it's so annoying i've been thinking on like how i could quickly boost myself up so if you're in the mood for several dungeons we could maybe do a little dungeon fun in the stream let me see. What about you, James? Are you on Chaos? Free company. I'm gonna invite A to my party. Ah, oh, you're a light side. Terrible, terrible, horrible. Uncurable. Hey, Abe. So... Uh... 
Um, I am... This much. <laughs> I don't know what the last reward though. It would have to be like probably a raid. Right? Why you go Mali silly? How am I being silly? <laughs> I don't know. It might be way too much to try to like boost up. <laughs> Done weekly log. Um Yeah, good question. Yeah, I have. God damn it. That's probably what boosted me up last time. Ah, see that makes sense. So it done all the dungeons. I have the guild tests. I can do five more of these. Fates. Uh, I could do fates. It would be best to do fate somewhere that I can fly, though. Yeah, they pay good, but that's a bit dull. I think that's okay. Maybe we can do Heavensward fates? Oh, I need to go... Eorzea. I think those were, like, the most likely... Shadowbring of Fates pay good? Okay, but where? Oh yeah, you can fly! I keep on forgetting, you can fly, you can just, like... Oh no! No! I just realized I've done my roulette today! Ah, oh, bloody hell. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh well, then we might as well just do the do the dungeon and continue on, I guess. <laughs> Main scenario is what I have left, which I can I promise you we're gonna end up in the Praetorium. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna just keep on going as a dancer. I need to take this off. Dungeon. Wait. Uh, I've done the Siren Song C. But we can do it like later if you like. Yeah, good point. Wait, Susano is what I'm going into right now? Yes. Okay. Well, durability is noticeable. There is no nothing to fix here, so we're just gonna have to go as we go. I should probably, though, wear my gear. I am... I, I have an interesting appearance. 
while we wait can i like reduce you by like a lot and throw you down here and i would like to reduce you also by like a lot i'm trying to like compact down my ui because it it was getting kind of big This is like, this is neat. We have like this turtle shell thing going on. Eh, like it's all good. I have, I have my healer friend who was conveniently fishing out in the east. <laughs> Ooh, good music. Right. Let's do this. Oh, uh, let's pick somebody. Dance with you. Maybe I should boost us both up first. Boost. Boost. them over here though stack on this person I remember when I first got the thing on me I ran away like half the raid following me going like no don't run away why are you running oh this person has like a cake look at that that looks nice I do kind of feel sorry for those who end up boosting because they those both miss out of on like a really good story but they also miss out on all the training you get in using the mechanics the seas part for we alone i think it would be really hard to just jump blind into the latest content because just trying out um i'm leveling a red maze on the side and just getting like the red maze and the samurai with all their shit at the same time it was just a lot. Who empty? Oh, decide who's main tank. Yeah. That might be a good idea. Are they both? Ooh. They're both holding aggro at the moment. Seize part for we alone. Hey guys, be nice to your healers. Power heart sing in the chaos. No. Okay. 
I didn't expect him to become huge. Oh god, I'm dying. No, that's he. Rejoice! Don't have set things in the same place as I have on my. Okay, on my part. Welcome back. Resilient Please don't do that souls, again. I salute you. That's that's all kinds of creepy. Earth and stone at our beck and call. Oh, both. So the off tank is put having the tank stand song. That's not good. Oh, we're supposed to break these. The seas part for we alone. This evil laughter. Oh, stand in this and on this. Get out of that. One thing I haven't managed to get used to, but still I kind of like not having, is it's weird not having my deadly boss mod anymore. Um, it, it's basically a mod that you use in World of Warcraft for raiding. It, it gives you guides on like what to do, like get out of jet and such. It's because WoW is less visual in their stuff, and also more RNG based, some of the bosses. So Deadly Boss Mod helps with that, and basically if you want to raid, you, you have to have Deadly Boss Mod. So, it's so... Like, it's something I'm starting to get used to, is being able to do dungeons and raids without having an air horn go off randomly in my ear. It's really nice. And I feel more involved when I'm, like, I know I have to figure out everything on my own anyway. Oh, they're like... Such ferocity. Oh. They, they switch places. Oh, it's, it's probably like the mechanic in uh, one of the Legion Dungeons. I remember then, like, the boss would actually turn into stone and you had to figure out which one of the stones. Stand in a group. Oh, wow. Please don't come back. Yay! There's one person left to get commendation from me. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you, Ape. <laughs> oh, meanwhile, off the coast of Othar. Yeah. 
These are some pretty sails. We told you so. Nary a peep from the shellback, sir. That's enough to make one wonder. The Red have sounded the alarm. The Isle of Zeki under attack. Fierce fighting in the stronghold. The vault breached by outsiders and strange tales from deep within. All this the Red cannot ignore. Even now, they abandon their posts and flock to the Isle. The Garleans are powerless to stop them. I'll be damned they did it. Mm -hmm. Well, Captain, wages notwithstanding, I dare say we will not have a better opportunity to drive the Imperials from Asari and rescue our men. On the other hand, naught was put in writing. But if your mind is made up, then that is that. We made a deal. I should add that if you were to change your mind, none would gainsay your decision, nor think you beholden to your past. Nor would anyone begrudge you a spot of revenge into the bargain. Like the Little Miss said, we knew this day would come. Isari may be a rotting husk, but at least the tavern keeper never watered down his drinks. Well said. For a temperate man. I mean, you could be a rotten husk, but it's your rotten husk. That's what matters. Hear me, comrades. We made a bargain with the Aeorsians, and I mean to uphold our end of it. I mean to remind the Garleans that this is our sea, that all here belongs to the Confederacy. All that is theirs is ours for the taking, and take it we shall. We will strip them of everything they hold dear. Right, so they are actually gonna fight, which means we can save our friend and everything should hopefully be sorted. That is, if he's still alive after all his beating. This one is iron. My hands will break before he speaks. Oh, come, he give me strength. Are you good at anything? I had hoped this might prove more productive and blind inquiries, but I see you are determined to waste my time. Very well. Line them up. Kill one for every question he refuses to answer. Oh no. Hurt them, and you will get naught from me. You have given me precisely that thus far, so what have I to lose? Mark me, Samurai. I will find Lord Hien, be it with your help or with your heads. Confederate scum! You will pay for it! <laughs> Pirates! Confederacy. 
They've come to save us! And this after I took such pains to cow them. Even pirates have their pride, I suppose. Enough to march to their deaths, no less. Ah, oh, the stupidity of it all. It truly is a sickness. I shall just have to lance the boil. Drain them of every last trace of honor and compassion. Every last drop. My lady, I... I'm going outside. Mm hmm? I would also want to leave the room, Susan. Oh, oh. How did you miss both of them? Kami are not finished with you yet. He... He, like, he has a spear. How can you miss both? Oh, yeah. There's no end to them. They just keep coming. Then we must be doing something right. We have to hold out for as long as we can. She's counting on us. Oh. Suzano is slain. Slain by the shellless one. Is it true? Did you defeat him? Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. What do you think well, I do? Case, how do you fancy helping us keep the Kojin occupied until the Confederacy make their move? Speak of the devils, that's coming from Isari. I think we've done all we can here. Let's withdraw and make for the village. Right. Although, they don't seem keen to let us go. And they're not exactly attacking us either. They're kind of just watching us talk. Hear me, Kojin of the Red. We have no quarrel with you. Only your Imperial Masters. No more blood need be shed this day. I pray you let us go in peace. You dare speak to us of peace? Your flesh will feed the fishes, thief. Attack! It was a good try, Alice. It really was. Now's our chance. Don't worry about her. She can handle herself. Sure. Have fun, I'll say. You know, bring some meat back home. We can have a feast. I think the pirates would be very happy with that. I've never tasted turtle, but I've heard they're apparently supposed to be good. Or maybe there's crab. My girl, you're doing great. Okay, Provost. I can't let you take all the glory, can I? Uh -huh. I have a sleepy kitty. Mm. Oh, is that? It's not a double mount. <laughs> I think this is the only place where this map actually makes sense. But 
you sit on it as stupidly as I do. It does with the mood. Now, and to go there. Ooh. Oh, look, there's the shark again. Hello, are you hostile? Oh, you're actually bigger than I thought. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Okay, you just decoration. That's good. I was worried there for a second. I might, I might be eaten. Oh, you gotta see Flap Flap. They're so pretty. Lucky. Very lucky. I want one. And I go back to being a pleb and to swim because I can't fly. So sad. I need to go there. Well, at least. I think we're safe. I didn't see any coaching following us. Wait, here, I'm going to back I'm going back for LSA. She stayed behind so we could escape. So that you could escape, not me. And that was a mistake. I should have been the one to stay behind, not her. So I've got to go back. If you lose her, I'll never forgive myself. I was the one who dragged you all into this. It was my fight, not yours. I knew that from the start, but I also knew I couldn't do it alone. But I've asked too much and let too much happen to all of you, to you all. I have to make this right and I have to do it on my own. Oh, come on. So let me go, please. I'm asking you as a friend. I have to help her. You can start by finding me a towel and some bandages. Alice, What? Why are you looking at me like that? I said I was going to distract them, not make a heroic ultimate futile last stand. Who does that anyway? Uh, for the love of this is stupid, you're embarrassing yourself and me. Shut up and let me have this. Right, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now then, we need to hurry back to Isari. Oh, poor thing. She's like still traumatized after Papa Limo. Where is everybody? They didn't follow you, did they? I have. I gave you enough time to escape. Yeah. Good to good to hear my selfless act of heroism achieves the desired effect. You needn't worry. By the way, I'm not. Too intended to make that a habit of this. Yeah, that's good. I don't see any soldiers. Do you think the Confederacy drove them off? Maybe. Any upgrade? No? Well then... Oh, you have cute shorts. Cute shorts. Nice pants. Oh, let's go with cute shorts. Even though I can't use them. Lisa's not sure what to make of Isari. Something's definitely happened here. I see several people who look like they might be injured. Let's give them a hand and find out what, ha what happened. Hmm, do I need help? Oh, I'll be fine. It's nothing that won't heal. You should go after Lise. Okay. Honestly... Because he seems fine. 
I could just heal her. I can like change to a healer. S stupefied senior. Hello. Thank you, my child. When the fighting started, I tried to run and hide, but fell and couldn't not regain my feet. I thought for sure that we would all be slaughtered, but the pirates drove them off. I never thought I would see the day when the Confederacy came to our aid. Well, it's their water, so... It's really hard to, like, stick a claim to something if somebody else is occupying it. Oh, flustered fisher. Hello. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, you're not an imperial. Is it over? Yeah, you're fine. They're all gone. Come be praised. I was certain she would have, have us all killed and burned. He sorry to the ground or kill us after making us watch or barricade us in our homes before putting them to the torch. Yeah. But what about our friend? So where's the tavern exactly? Because if we can find the tavern, we're gonna find our friend and everything is gonna get sorted. Oh. Uh, they are not here. I guess inside? No. Oh, up, okay. Can I somehow get in? Just pretend you didn't see that. Okay, so it is higher. Can you giving me mixed messages here? Oh! Where did you come from? I remember you. You're the one who saved me from the dome and catchers. Thanks to you, we managed to rescue the fishermen and my kidnapped comrades, one of whom joined the confederacy with me long ago. Would have broken my heart to have to bury him. Oh, and if you're looking for the captain, you'll find him in the tavern. Yes, that's where I want to go. Where's the tavern? Let's say, come on, we're gonna go have a drink. Back already? What have you learned? Oh, people are hanging out in the tavern, so we should go there. At the tavern, you say? In that case, we should find Lise and speak with, with him together. Yes. I really like how colorful all the cloth is. It's so nice. My Eorzean friends. Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner. Though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Very. Gazetsu! You're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> Did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Fled. They stood their ground for a time. Until it became clear that their Corjin reinforcements would not be coming. What about the leader? We took some few casualties. But my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a half-wit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. In How any event, you... I imagine all involved mm. are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions. And without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. Don't do anything reckless. Hmm. 
nor you. Our fates are intertwined now. If you fall, so do we. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings, and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Really? Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? I can't promise anything. So I guess now we go to Doma. Oh, that's an upgrade. A very small one though. Oh, god, no. Oh, that's kind of cool, but I, I'm gonna go with the upgrade, just in case. But I'm not wearing shorts, shorts. That's not happening. Uh-uh. I look less and less like a dancer every minute. Oh! Though he is less than the picture of perfect health, Kosetsu is ready to, res to resume his journey to Yangstia. Yes. Uh, did I do the level 63 dungeon? Uh, yes, the one underwater? Uh, with, the, with the ruby princess? Yes. I did it this morning when uh, James told me, like, I should definitely do it. You did well. Were it's not from the tremendous strength and bravery of you and yours, many innocent souls would have suffered terrible fates. Though I knew, knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I also knew that if any could win them over, it would be you. Truly yours is a heroic spirit that inspires men to rise above the circumstance, to strive for something greater. It will be an honor to travel with you again. Oh, it will be so nice to have you with me too. Now then, let us not squander the Confederacy gift Yangtze and my countrymen await. There is a tunnel to the southwest. We need but follow it to reach our destination. With me. Right. We can actually go. I'm gonna end up going here on my own um, and use these quests to like level stuff. So for now, we continue as a dancer. I'm gonna go to Yangtze. I'm gonna find an etherite crystal, and then I'm gonna change my clothes. Meanwhile, on the shores of Othart. We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap no worries if thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless, 
It is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts. And without a word of explanation at that. Oh, rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Lady Yotsoyo, pray forgive us our absence, but our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! Well, there's naught to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! Oh no. I did not think that through. No. No, it's no good. There's just no joy in it. No release. There... there needs to be some investment. There were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single domo. And what do we have here? One of the vaunted treasures of the red? The craftsmanship is certainly impressive. Mayhap we can use it to make amends. How long before Lord Xenos reinstates me, do you reckon? I've got unfinished business back in Aeosia. Serving me really so unbearable. At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump! If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. That woman is really scary. There is just something she is. She is just pure evil. But at least we finally make it to Doma. That's something. I remember the silence, how the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha. Before us stood yet another wall. And through a great Magitek field, we glimpsed Doma Castle. 
I'll never forget the sight or the anger I felt that day. Life, liberty, hope, so much lost, so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word. There's so many people here. Hello. Hmm. Yes, this is far enough. Ere we proceed further, I should speak at speak of Yangsia and what became of her, or what lies beyond the great wall at the heart of Doma. And we should be glad to hear it, but is it wise for us to have this conversation here on the road, out in the open? Once your caution will be warranted, but no longer. Senus did not linger after he crushed the rebellion. He appointed Yotsiu to act in his stead and quit his lands for fresh sport. The acting viceroy may was no less merciless than her master. Without warning, her men would march into villages and search for radical elements, killing and torturing any who dared resist. And then, as quickly as they had come, they left. I think... I think... Um, Abe is fighting things in the background because we keep on getting like random music changes. Satisfied that the memory of the purse would be kept, would keep the people in line, she relaxed her grip on Yamsia. What need for the least when the dog is broken? The will is of Nam Namai lies to the west, though without the Imperials are present, let us proceed with caution. Yes, it's okay, Abe. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, these are some big tigers. Look at that big kitty. It's huge. It's a very hostile tiger. Right, I need to go onwards. Oh, there's a lot of tigers. I'm just gonna run along the water because there are no angry tigers in the water. I remember when I was when I was a kid, I played Tomb Raider 2 and that was the first time I saw a tiger in a video game and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> there she is, the humble village of Namai. How delicious her eyes, how sweet her persimmons. Too long has it been since I saw her with my own eyes, and for a mercy, the Imperial appeared to be absent. That's good. Oh, Kosatsu is demonstrating unchar uncharacteristic restraint. Let no man claim that I am reckless. Prudent has ever been my watchword, Melisti. Venture closer, if you would, and confirm that there are no soldiers lurking about. I don't know if I would call you prudent, but sure. I can check out the village. Seems small and... and like... harmless. Oh yeah, James, I hope you have a lovely day. I, I see you're heading out. I hope you have a good time. There we go. It's a cute little village. It really is. And like, in a cool environment. Kind of grey, but nice. Can we go into these houses? 
No. Ah, oh, you're welcome. I'm gonna jump to the city just to fix my my glamour because I look terrible and it really bothers me. So I'm gonna be right back. When I'm when I'm not looking like this. Don't know what I'm gonna wear, but but I should wear something cute. This glamour is everything. Now what to wear? Oh, I could go similar. I could also go with this. Hmm. Or this. Hey, what do you think? Should I go... So, should I go with this one? This one, or this one. Hmm, it didn't work. It's hard to pick, right? You might have better. <laughs> I love it that you trust me for my streams, it's amazing. I can throw some things out, like, there are some places that I'm not using at the moment, so I could definitely make a new one. Where is the tavern, though? If I want to get to, like, I guess it's here? Said. Oh, how does what look? Oh, you're all, all the way over there. Hold on, I'm on my way. Oh, you linked above. Try it on. Um... Oh, that's kind of cute. I don't know what kind of pants I would wear with it, though, because it's, it's quite high. Oh, that could work better, yeah. I think I they're still both quite high, but like it would maybe work better though the blue one is cuter. Let me see, I'm I'm trying to figure out can I try out glamour things? If I go like so. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. I don't think I have any pants that go up that high. See? Yeah, the red one fits better with that. Like if I use the the black slippers. Oh. Hold on, I need to save. And then it was 
Oh, that could actually be kind of cute. Yeah. Now I'm just now I'm just curious. I'm going like. Yeah, it doesn't go high enough for this, but it does does go high enough for the IO shirt. Yeah, that's cute. Maybe if I would go like so. And then I would go. Oh, it's not the same red, but if I would go like. I would not be able to use the same headdress, but like it could work. Giant one. Oh. <laughs> Slightly better. It's just it's just the dress is too high cut. I don't mind the colors and blues usually work like basically any pastels tend to work well on my character I have to be careful because now, now I go like look at the store. You look so cool, Abe. I like the coat, like the jacket you're wearing. It's the same as the pirates were wearing before. Okay, I need to... Where can I find, like, an inn? Is it here? No, these were the piers. What could I inn? What could I inn? Oh, it's up there! Don't know how to navigate in the city. Okay, so if I go here... I don't have it yet. I'll run over there. Okay, I'll go make a set and I will see how it's looking adorable. It's way too much fun, like, dressing, dressing up your character in this game. And, and it makes it, like, so much more... Yeah, I need to open them all, I know. It makes this almost fun because then you have like cinematics and stuff, so it feels really worth it. I don't... What are you two doing? Ah, uh, no, I do not want to teleport to Namai. I think this is also cool that the game goes like, oh, your party member decided to teleport somewhere. 
So would you like a teleport? There we go. Found the inn. Hello. I would like to get that room, please. Yeah, the inn was right next to the hot baths. Okay. So now, what I got? It was a new chess piece. Yeah. I was meaning to put this in. Tile. I have slops and I think they're the same name. There we go, tile shoes. Okay. Um, I'm not really using this one right now, so you can go. No, thank you. So, I want this. Oh! Oh, that's so cute! Okay, and then I need to find the... Oh, these are also purple! Abe, you thought of everything! This is adorable! Okay, where is the... Oh. Where are these ones? Oh! You gave me a headpiece too! Wait. No. Oh, this cute. Hold on, let me let me find it. So it should be purple, purple, purple. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'll come outside. <clears throat> Thank you! Okay, I'm gonna go set it up. I'm gonna look so cute as we go into Doma. I like the, I really like the ends here too. Head. What's this one? Oh, so cute. Yeah, this one's way cuter. The only other one I have is this one. I think I'm gonna go with this for now. I'm gonna be a cute little dancer. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Now, back to Othart. In Namai. Where it's shitty weather. <laughs> oh no, the weather is terrible. Terrible. Okay, who am I supposed to talk to? Oh, by the way, I think I think I found it. Is it Ebow? See, I know how to do the Eastern Bow too. Wait, wasn't your outfit red before? Are you, like, matching me? Eva. 
da Shirley Lui. Now down. Oh, there. Is anybody here? We may be in luck. I don't see a single Imperial soldier. Then there is no need to remain hidden. Let us go and greet them <laughs> as friends. Oh, he's so happy just to get to like talk to people without it being an issue. I'm going too. Kind of figured. Aren't we all going? Good people of Namai, hearken to me. We come in peace and desire only information to learn of recent events. He's so loud. Isn't that the general? Lord Gorsetsu, can we preserve your right? He lives. Uh, they don't seem very happy. I say, brothers and sisters, is all to miss? Why do you regard me as one with a wild beast? Why is there fear in your eyes? Why do you tremble so? Ah, but of course. You fear me a vengeful spirit of the dead. Rest assured, nor could be further from the truth. For am I not corporeal? Are my feet not firmly set upon the ground? <laughs> Something's really wrong. What should we do? If they catch him here, you know what will happen. Of all the times for him to turn up, has the old fool lost his mind? Have you come here? What do you want from us? Information. I know not who you are to speak thus to your elders, boy, but mine only desire is to be received with the hospitality owed a humble traveler, not the fear and trepidation one might afford a wrathful shade. What? What are you going on about? Actually, never mind, just come with me now. Oh god, there is like a certain punishment or something they are wait like they expect to happen. Hi. Please explain. Oh. Oh no. I don't know what who you people think you are. But do you have any idea what would happen to us if you were found in our village? Again you address us with unwarranted spite. I have let you let your impropriety pass until now, but no longer. Who are you, boy? Speak to me thus. Know you not who I am? I, I'm Isi of Name, a farmer, like my father before me, and his father before him. I, would, I wouldn't expect a man like you to know who I am, but I know you, we all do. Lord Kain's retainers and leader of the rebellion, Gosetsu, notorious fugitive, wanted death or alive by the Empire. <laughs> is that what this is all about? I'm hardly the first man to earn the ire of the Empire, nor will I be the last. Was not Namai home, home to brave and true warriors who fought beneath our banner for king and country? They fought and they died, every last one, and then the Imperials came, looking for more because of them. They were this close to killing us all, to burning our village to the ground, where only just began to enjoy some semblance of peace. 
Never again, never again, do you understand? We've had enough of you and yours. Whatever it is you're plotting, leave us out of it. Hmm, impassionate as this please may be, surely you must know that I cannot leave things as they are. Can we maybe not do it then in the village? But for now, I shall respect his wishes. We must continue on towards fi our final destination, the House of Fears, proud headquarters of the Dome and Liberation Front. There is a secret entrance to the north of Namai, by way of small spring. Come, I will show you. Okay. I am very concerned. I mean, I understand them. Obviously, they don't want to, like, risk being found with us. They would all be killed. This must be the spring. Really? I'm not seeing a spring. Oh, there's the spring. Okay. We already have there Alice and Kosetsu. I guess we're gonna have to dive. And there I was thinking our swimming days were behind us. This way, this way, we must dive into the water. What no fear, Melissa, is but a short distance. You need not hold your breath for long. Actually, I can breathe underwater, so it's all fine. What is this? I guess it's like an to help help you find where you're going. I like it that they really like enhanced on their underwater stuff. It it gives more dimension. I wish it was slightly more smooth. That it wasn't you weren't transitioning between above and below water like this but it's still good are you okay <sighs> how invigorating congratulations my friend you have come to the house of the fears yes any of this look good i would like to be wearing clothes please uh, oh my god i look like a porcupine <laughs> Ah, uh, let's go with this. It is not often that the Liberation Front Guard welcomes heroes from distant lands, but he's doing his best to compose himself. You are Melissa de Mal, are you not? We were told you of your coming. Hero of Eorzea, we of the Dome and Liberation Front are honored to receive you. If you would be so good as to follow me. Oh, he's doing fine. Oh no, the etherite is broken. Well, I guess they wouldn't want anyone to be able to find their way in there. This is the house of the fears. But there are so few of them. Well, the science are also few. Many kindred spirits remain in hiding following the rebellion. Many others gave their lives for their nation. We are a stubborn remainder. Even accounting for our comrades in the field, we are at a fraction of our former strength, tis true. Yet we few are patriots. Brothers in arms, prepared to fight with every fiber of our being to set our people free. Ever are we hopeful that others will join our cause, but never did I dream that you would journey so far. You kitty! Oh, I'm so glad she's okay. I have a message from her parents. You kitty! God, it's good to see you. You look great, by the way. Have you been here long? I returned but recently, having concluded my mission. Oh, it is good to see you again, my friends. Did I hear aright? Your mission is concluded? Then you have found the young master. 
Ere we speak of that, I would know by what fortuitous circumstance our friends came to be here. Yeah. It's quite complicated. The Empire's crimes are all too familiar. Vis, my heart goes out to your people. We wanted to stay and fight, believe me. But we knew it wouldn't work. We needed more time to rebuild, and more allies to stand with us against the Empire. So we decided to come here and help you free Doma. To show you, to show everyone that you're not alone. And that the Garleans can be beaten if we work together. I'd like to think we proved that in the Ruby Sea. That you did, Lise, and far more besides. Needless to say, your assistance would be most welcome. Hear, hear! Now then, Yugiri, you must tell me of your search for our master. Lest you wonder, he speaks of Lord Hien, son of Lord Kayen, who perished during the rebellion. When it became clear that all hope of victory had gone, Lord Hien bade us deliver as many of our people as we could to safety beyond our borders. But as his father's heir, he was determined to fight on, and so he did, until he suffered a grievous wound in battle and vanished without a trace. Until now. For I have found Lord Hien, seen and spoken with him, on the Azim Steppe. O oh, boundless and merciful Kami, the young master lives. Tell me, was he well? Did his wound yet ail him? Where is he now? Have you brought him back to us? Calm down. You may take comfort in the knowledge that he is hale and whole. However, when I invited him to return with me to Doma, he had this to say. If Doma yet thirsts for the blood of patriots and tyrants, I shall offer unto her my blade. But if she has had her fill of bitter draughts, I shall offer unto her conquerors my head. Thrice did I declare to him that no true son or daughter of Doma would ever accept such a sacrifice. But for all my passion, he would not be swayed. Learn the truth of her heart and return to me, he said. And so I left him. The words of one made to wear the mantle of leadership too soon. Yet there is wisdom in them all the same. If the people no longer yearn to be free, it would be folly to rekindle the fires of war. To suffer our master, to surrender his life and forsake all hope of freedom is by far the greater folly. I will not go to face my fallen comrades having done naught to stop it. Nor I, Shadow Walker, nor I. But we need not rouse our comrades to battle this day. Let us instead welcome our honored guests and allow them a moment of respite. Yes, that would be nice. We've been kind of busy messing up things for the Empire. We will free Doma. I'm sure we will. So he wants us to find out if the people truly want to be freed or if they just want the fighting to stop as you can see they went to great lengths to disable the etherite apparently in the twilight days of the rebellion they feared the senators would be willing to risk sending unattuned conscripts that said that said is hardly irreversible if they have the necessary materials it would be a challenge challenge to repair it alone but may help with my brother's help Okay, so if we get Alfino over here, we might be able to fix it. That would be nice. You should hear this, Melissa He was just telling me about Senna's and the rebellion. What you have to understand is that it was not a simple matter of numbers. The bulk of the 12th 
never even took to the field. It was Senna's stra stratagem that won the war. They were unlike anything we had ever seen. His formation were unorthodox, bewildering. We honestly thought we had him on the back foot. One moment we were pressing home our advantage, the next we were surrounded and at his mercy. And then he stood before us, his corner prey. Alone and unarmed, he beckoned us to come forward and fight for our lives. One by one, my comrades charged, fearless and unflinching. He would dance amidst their blaze for a time and then draw close, as if to embrace one after another. He made us watch, do you understand? He made us watch. What kind of a monster enjoys killing people? I do not think there was any joy in it, nor justice, nor morality, nor meaning. To him, the weight of one life is no different than from different from that of a thousand. A challenge had been issued and war accepted, but on finding us no challenge at all, his objective changed. There were tales of imperial soldiers being flayed for slaughtering families, for breaking brave men's spirit. Only later did I come to understand why. He did not desire obedience, he desired hate, and men consumed by it. A new battle, a new enemy, a new challenge. The hunt, I am told, he called it a hunt without end. And when all our best lay dead and broken, he left. He left muttering that we had bored him. But our weapons at least held his interest. His weapons at least... But our weapons at least held his interest. But it took a fallen samurai sword, having grown fond of it. Since that day, he has ever wielded Far Eastern blades. He is said to be fascinated by, by ones with storied histories, and so soldiers who seek to curry his favour often present those of defeated enemies as gift. It's like it's all game to him. People are suffering, dying, and he's collecting swords? Well, all feel the same, but my lady, he must understand. On the battlefield, Reasons do not matter. The victor is not, not the just, but the strong, and the strong become the heroes of the tale. We were not strong enough. It is not sufficient to be right, to be just, without strength for path has to be one, has but one end. Gosh. That guy, he's so twisted. Though, we've seen that before, but it's still... I have brief respite is in order. Were it twenty years younger, these wounds would not wear in the second glance. Alas, no samurai has the strength to defeat the villain old age. But what say you to the House of Fears? Compared to your rising stones, I concede it may seem somewhat lacking. But it has been a, been a haven these past ten years to all who would set Doma free. Reg regrettably, our efforts in that time have come to little and less. <sighs> when the Empire... When the Emperor died, we were so sure the hour of liberation was at hand, but Senna soon put pay, put pay to that with the aid of Yotsuyu and the secrets he sold. Yeah. Oh, that's that uh, game. I've seen people play it. I don't quite understand how it works. Hi, Yukiri! Melissa I do hope you have taken this opportunity to rest and recover. Yes, yeah, sure. As well as can be. It is well that he spoke with one of the survivors of the massacre. That defeat one's foe, one must first understand his true nature. Yeah, and this one is twisted. As the Alamiga resistance has struggled, so has the Doman Liberation Front. More so, perhaps, given the precarious position, the precarious position in which we find ourselves in the wake of our doomed rebellion. We are few and our enemies legion. We are weak and they are strong. Yet with your help, I believe that there is little we cannot achieve. I only hope the depth of our predicament has not shaken your commitment to our cause. No. Never, victory is gonna be ours. We're going to win this eventually. 
Aye, that I will. With the hero of Yorsi on our side, we cannot lose. Exactly. Nothing here is an upgrade. Oh, that's hideous. That's invisible. Oh, that's kind of nice. I'm going to take this. I can sell it. Or keep it. Yukiri would like to have a word with you. Yes. Now then, I should be glad to discuss our next course of action. Though, now that I think of it, I myself have been away from Doma for some time, and even after my return, the service of Lord Hien commanded my full attention. Mayhap it would be both to both of our benefit if we were to see the reality of Doma for ourselves, for did my lord not bid me learn the truth of her heart? May I let us do this together, Melisti. Let us go among the people and with our own eyes bear witness to their hardship. As a foreigner in the land, your reputation does not precede you. Moreover, unlike Kosetsu, I can accompany you without attracting unwanted attention. That's good thinking. I'd like to join you if that's all right. Oh, please, no. By all means, you should, we should be glad of your company and your perspective. Yay. Namai is not far. I say we begin there. Yes. No, like, I don't mind Lise. It's just a little bit intense at times. That's all. This can be a little bit un unpleasant. Oh, so this... We are going to get an e-thread here eventually when it's fixed. But that's not yet. So until then, we're going to have to do some swimming. Hello, Yugiri and Lise. Oh, Lise! You're wearing pants! Actual pants! I'm impressed. Yugiri told me to wear this outfit. My legs haven't felt this light and airy in ages. Ah, Melissa I'm glad to see that you put... You too put thought into your garment. Given the covert nature of, nature of our activities. Hmm. I should think my reason obvious. To enter the village while wearing the garbs of the shinobi would be beyond reckless. We shall pose as travelling merchant. Melissa is our leader and we as her assistants. Are there any objections? I'm not really the merchant type, but if you think it's the best way to go, I'll trust you. I, I think it is. Then, without further ado, let us begin. Are they not going to remember me? I was here not too long ago. Hello, Honami. Where, where are you? The one who came with the general? No? Hmm. I see. My mistake. It warms my heart to see a traveling merchant in Amai again. Though the Imperials never sealed their border. Folks like you have taken to avoid in Yangstia ever since the rebellion. Unfortunately, that has only made it harder for us to survive. You may have noticed, but we lack for a great many things. It was not much better before, true, but it has only gotten worse. So the rebellion has made everybody's life much harder. That's not good. Hello. You, a merchant. Forgive my skepticism, but you strike me le less a woman of commerce and more a, com a common cell sort. Um, give her my best smile. I stand corrected. Such a warm and cordial nature you possess. I pray you forgive me my early rudeness. It's okay. Oh, hey. Yeah. It's been some time since the Vinesroy came to our village to purge it of insurgents. Those who resisted suffered terribly, and those who did not fared little better. We who remain know better than to risk her ire. If the Imperial demand labourer, we comply. If they de demand conscripts, 
to send the soldiers to other provinces we obey. Ours is a difficult life with little in a way of luxuries. I know not what you sell, merchant, but I doubt that I nor anyone else can afford it. Oh, she says she has to keep the square clean for when her grandson returns from the war. Oh, I have a really bad feeling he's not going to be returning. Now, I need to find two more people. But this doesn't open. I see Ape has decided to assist. That's very kind of you. A traveling merchant with meat, perchance? Bah, better not know when I have so little coin. I feel your eyes upon me, you know not the lupin? Surely you have not been long in Yangsia, else you would. For generation we served the Lord of Doma, compassionate and wise as they were, but the memories, memories of such time fade with every passing day. As other will tell you. I say, if anything, you, you're doing a better job than her. Now, one more? Like, where? Oh, Falcon Porter. Hello, I would like. I don't want to hire one, I just want to be able to get the thing. Hmm. I'm missing a person, but I don't know where they could be. Like, I can't get into these houses. Oh, there. Foreign peddler. In Namai? What is it you sell? I have no money to buy. Perhaps you should go elsewhere. <laughs> I say that I know of no village in Yangsia that has fared any better. Once I would have directed you to the samurai lord of Monsen, had they not all died in battle or in the purchase. There is the Doman Enclave, of course, but that lies beyond the Do Doria Moon Gate. Needless to say, the Imperial are disinclined to let any but their own pass. Oh, the Doria Moon Gate must be the gate that's, like, closed. Yeah, that, that, that spot right here is going to be spotless. Oh, look at that Halloween look. That's cute. Melicity, what have you learned? Um, life is shit. It's terrible here. Lise and I encountered much of the same. They have been pushed beyond the brink. I expected frustration and disillusionment, but not so much that they would come to question the wisdom of opposing imperial rule in the first place. Okay, you have fun, Abe. Unless we can convince them otherwise, I fear I cannot convince Lord Hien to return. And without him... Without him, not much is gonna happen, is there? Yukiri is uncertain how best to proceed. Let us not yet lose hope, though the situation in Namai is bleak, may have it is not so elsewhere. I wish to speak with other outside the village. Lise and I will look for the farmers in the paddies to the east. Malicity, I ask that you look to the south. Surely they cannot all have given in to despair? I will thank you, Abe. Let's go see if we can find some people to talk to.
What is that? Rhino beetle. They're huge. Oh, look at that. Carolian's messing up things as always. Oh, hello, child. You okay? Oh. I see you have a problem with caterpillars. Let me just dispose of them for you. Thank you, thank you. If you hadn't come along, I don't know what I would have done. I mean, they were just caterpillars. What am I doing out here? Oh, looking for flowers. I need some for my parents' graves. Oh. The ones my brother and I usually bring are yellow because it was my mother's favorite color. You haven't seen any, have you? If I find any flowers, I'll, like, I'll let you know. Complicated quite a bit by making them have to be yellow. Oh, there. Gold incarnation. Also, I should definitely summon up my bird. Because I haven't had... Out with me for a while. Who? Oh, you. Oh, there's a hungry caterpillar. Why do caterpillars always look so weird? Just bugs look odd. There we go. Hey, little girl, I got your flowers. Let's just avoid these beetles. Hi, I got you some yellow flowers. So, an assortment of yellow wildflowers, perfect for any number of joyful or somber occasion. Handpicked by you. Here you go. Ah, you found some. Thank you so much, miss. That's twice you've saved me now. Mm, if you have some time to spare, maybe you could come with me? I'm sure your mother and father would want to meet the woman who showed me such kindness. We buried them on the cliff to the west of the village. There's a path through the terrace. I'll show you. Sad. Very sad. Rest of the village. Uh, oh, all the way up there. I'm guessing I have to go up there. It'd be so nice when I get my flying... As soon as I lose it, I miss it immediately. But thankfully, it doesn't take too long to earn the flying back. It's mostly doing the story and then find like occasional like ether flows. They really buried their parents way off up in a dangerous area. Hello. We're here. Just give me a moment to put down the flowers and I'll introduce you. Yes.
They love to meet travelers and hear tales of faraway places. Maybe you could tell them one about your homeland? Asami, Asami, are you there, Asami? What in the... You should not be here. Get away from my sister. Don't be so rude. She saved me from monsters, brother. She even helped me pick flowers for mother and father. Go back to the village now. Y you're scaring me. I said go. Stay inside and lock the door until I return. Yeah, he knows who we are. Hello. Don't thank me ungrateful. My sister is the only family I have. If you saved her, then, then thank you. But it changes nothing. I asked you to leave and now I'm asking you again. I'm not going to report you to the Imperials or anything stupid like that, but it's too dangerous for you to stay here. So please, I'm begging you, just leave us alone. She said your parents were buried here. So she told Ditsy, yes, that's right. My mother and father believed in the rebellion. They left to fight for Lord Cayenne. They came home on a cart driven by Imperial soldiers. The soldiers demanded that the families of the insurgent present themselves, or else they burned the whole village to the ground. So we did. What choice did we have? They beat us in the village square with their hands, with sticks, with anything. They kicked us while we lay on the ground begging for mercy. They made us denounce my mother and father, call them fools, call them traitors, say they deserve to die. I heard them laugh, but I dared not look up. One leaned close and whispered in my ear what he'd do to my sister if they had to come back. They've gone, but they're never far, and it takes, and it takes, all it takes is the wrong word in the wrong ear, and they'll return. And then I'll have to dig another grave, if I'm lucky. Whatever you came here to do, leave us out of it. If you want to fight the Imperials, go and fight them on your own. You can't help us, no one can. And this is all we got, so please don't take it from us. Gosh, that's really dark. I should go back and tell them that maybe these people are not going to be in any sort of fighting spirit anytime soon. This is not good. Shit. Hello. What's wrong, Melody? Did something happen? Yes. You are come you are coming at a good time, Melody. We but recently completed our in inquiries. What of yours? Well, things are really twisted. I I was not even aware of this event. The boy is uh, he told you all of this? Such disgraceful, despicable crimes. If I knew the men responsible, I would not hesitate to hunt them down and... He doesn't want us to. Forgive me, that outburst was unbecoming. The more I, more I learn of the Imperial's action in my absence, the more difficult I find it to marshal my emotions. Could Lord Thien have foreseen this? That our people's spirits would be broken so? Though at first I scoff at this, pronouncement I felt all too possible now that my I might resolve to surrender himself what is this oh these are gloves I'll just take this once this is quite quite bad they are not doing too well at all I am also really hungry right now so i'm gonna have to go make myself some dinner i think this is a good place to take a break so the next time we come in we're gonna continue on with the people here try to help them and encourage them to like get back to their fighting spirits and hopefully that will work but for now i hope you have a lovely day and a lovely evening and i will see you oh Katla. I'm tilting and I'm going to see you next Sunday in Final Fantasy or next Friday in Alan Wake.
have a lovely week.